high school graduation ceremony. My name is Matt Krause, I'm the Director of College Engagement. I want to introduce two of my colleagues, Brett Aker, the Assistant Director. And the Director of Community Engagement, Dr. Stephanie. en la cual honramos a la clase de 2200, 2019. Quisiera pedir disculpas que no puedo traducir todo el programa para ustedes, pero les agradezco su uh, presencia en este día tan estupendo para sus hijos. Take care of a few housekeeping items. Uh, we are here uh, celebrating graduation at the historic Chemo Theater. There is no gum, food, or drink allowed in the theater, and some important landmarks are the bathrooms. They are located in the art gallery on the east side of the building, and upstairs there is another women's bathroom. I ask that at this moment you please turn off your cell phones. Also, today's graduation is being photographed by Ray Mades in photography. Mr. Mades will be taking pictures of individual seniors as they receive their diplomas. He also took a picture of each senior in a cap and gown prior to the ceremony. If you are interested in ordering pictures today, please see, visit him at his table in the front lobby after the ceremony. Uh, there's going to be a, an event after this graduation here in the theater and so we want to be aware of that and um, exit the theater after the ceremony. Otra vez en español. Um, hay que compartir algunas cosas importantes, alguna información importante. Ahora sí puedo leer. Uy, no hay luz. Um, Estamos celebrando la graduación en el histórico Teatro Quimo. No se permiten chicles, ni comidas, ni bebidas en el teatro. Y algunos puntos de referencia muy importantes es saber dónde están los baños. Eh, hay algunos aquí en el este de la galería y hay otro baño especial para las mujeres arriba en el segundo piso. Les pido que en este momento, favor de apagar uh, o silenciar sus teléfonos celulares. Uh, además, hoy tenemos el fotógrafo Ray Mares. El señor Mares tomará fotografías de sus estudiantes cuando reciban sus diplomas. También ya tomó una foto de cada estudiante con su toga y birrete antes de la ceremonia. Si están interesados en ordenar fotografías hoy, visiten la mesa en el vestíbulo delantero del teatro después de la ceremonia. También tengo que decirles que a las 7 hay otro evento y les pido que cuando termine todo, que salgan ya afuera para, para dejar que entren nosotros. Mil gracias a todos. At this time, please acknowledge a dedicated group of leaders who have served as educators, mentors, and volunteers. These kind people put their hearts and souls into helping these graduates get to where they are today. We'd also like to especially recognize Richard Ledesma, Cheryl Kent, Sarah Drinkwater, Ray Maceman, and Betty Seeley, because this will be their last ABHS graduation as they're moving on. So please help me welcome the faculty and staff, Amyville High School, the members of the government board and foundation boards, and our mentor 2.0 mentors. Good afternoon. 
afternoon, everybody. Um, thank you to the Kalpulia Hecatol dancers. Let's give it up for them again. My name is Frank McCulloch, and I am the executive director and principal of Amyville High School. First, I want to congratulate all of the Amy Bill High School graduates. Give it up, you guys. Give it up. I also want to acknowledge Amy Bill High School board and foundation members in attendance. Eduardo Martinez, Rachel Berenson, and Melanie Lewis. Thank you very much for your service. To all three of you. And another acknowledgement to our graduation committee, who worked um, so hard to make this a wonderful event. Please get up from, give it up for Matt Krause, Paula Villalba, Brett Aker, Marilyn Luna, Elise Philippar, Mary Beth Lavorek, Stephanie Becker, and Mark Ferrara. Thank you very much. All right. So this is a very monumental day. For one, we have our wonderful graduating class of 2018. Yeah. Yep. Young scholars and activists who are transitioning from high school to the worlds of college and careers. And for two, Amyville High School is celebrating a 20-year reunion. 16 years graduating, graduating civic-minded, college-bound, and career-ready citizens. Seeing you all and considering the 15 classes before you makes me pause and be grateful. Now, I'm gonna let you in on a secret. I was privy to everyone's speeches before this event, and as I was reading the student perspectives in this script, two words stood out to me, empathy and community. These are two of the words the students specifically referenced in regards to our school, empathy and community. When I consider our namesake, Amy Beal, and what she represents um, to our school, I consider her last days defending and preserving the ideals of a united South Africa. In South Africa, there is a word that expresses the feeling of connection that we share as a community. Ubuntu means that we are all in this together. Desmond Tutu's definition of Ubuntu is, a person is a person through other persons. In the spirit of Ubuntu, Amy Gill High School is a true community, connected through the bond of empathy for one another. And each individual that will be crossing this stage has been supported and encouraged by a community of family, friends, teachers, and mentors. To put it into perspective, Nelson Mandela said, if we are to accomplish anything in this world, it will in equal measure be due to the work and achievements of others. Thanks to each and every one of you sitting in this auditorium tonight for supporting each other and for your work and achievement in nurturing our students. And congratulations, graduates. All right.